Hi there, my name is Stephen. I'm the founder of Bloom, which is a location platform for local news. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to add local search to your website. As you see here with the Brooklyn Reader, their readers can simply pop up this search box and can search their entire website based on their current location, a city, or a street address. This helps to add personalization to the reading experience. It prioritizes the most relevant content near that individual. They can easily explore what content is happening near them without leaving the publisher's website, and more importantly, without interfering with the current design and functionality of the website. Installing this plugin is very easy, and we have two options for you, a WordPress plugin or an embed code. In this tutorial, we'll be guiding you through the WordPress plugin, but you'll also get a glimpse of the embed code too. Now, in order to use this plugin, you must be a registered publisher on Bloom, and this is free and it's easy to sign up. However, it does require you to be a publisher that writes content about local communities. Otherwise, the local search and other stuff on Bloom just wouldn't be a good fit for your content. So if you are a local publisher, go ahead and sign up on Bloom's website if you haven't already. Once you log in, you can go to your account and go to the Publishers page. You'll see a list of plugins and click Nearby Search. And it'll bring you to a page like this where you can preview the local search plugin before adding it to your website. Now let's go through some of the settings right now. The radius option allows you to create a geofence around where your readers search. So if they're searching for their home address, how far away should this plugin look for content? Should it be one mile or 10 miles or 20 miles? This is up to you. The next step is to provide a Google API key and you'll find instructions here to help you out. This gives your account access to Google's location database and it helps with geotagging as well. In the state section, we need to specify a number of days. For example, if the reader is searching for content near their home, how many days in the past should the plugin search for your content? If you want to show content from the past week, you can put seven, or in the past month, you can put something like 30. Now, at this point, your plugin is all set up with those few settings, and you can click Save, and then preview the plugin right here on this page. Now remember, in order to see content within this plugin, you need to geotag, on, geotag content on Bloom, and you can either do that directly on Bloom's website, and there'll be a button here when you're logged in, or you can geotag from the WordPress plugin, which is our next step. Let's keep this tab open in the Bloom Admin, and you can go ahead and open your WordPress website and go to Plugins and Add a Plugin, and you can search here for Bloom for Publishers. You'll see our WordPress plugin here, and there'll be an Install button and an Activate button. And once it's activated, you'll see Bloom here in this left-hand corner, uh, left-hand menu with the jellyfish icon. And go ahead and click that. And it will take you to a page like this. Now there's a few tabs on this page and we'll go through them each quickly. One is, or on the first tab, we are simply going to copy and paste a few keys from Bloom. So let's go back to this tab that we left open you'll see an API key, the publisher key, and the Google API key. You'll copy and paste each of those, place them in the fields, and you can click Save too. In the local search tab, you can here select uh, whether you want to enable the search plugin or just have it as a preview for people who are logged into your website. Uh, when you get started on Bloom, I recommend keeping this disabled and turning the preview on. In this way, your staff, your journalists or editors 
can try out the local search plugin and you can just test it out if you want uh, without the public, without the readers uh, seeing the plugin yet. But once it is ready, once you are ready to, uh, to, to show your readers after you've geotagged content, you'll need to come back here and enable it. In the map tab, you can specify whether you want to add a map to your article pages that you've geotagged. So if you've geotagged a news story or an event, this option will automatically add a map directly below the text to show your readers where it took place. The feed tab is pretty similar too, but it adds a, a news feed below the article text. The news feed includes stories that are recommended near the current article that's being read. You can create this plugin from your Bloom admin. If you go back here, you'll see nearby channel and you'll see instructions to create that plugin there if you're interested. On the links and buttons tab, we give you the option to add links for the search plugin or the map. So if you think the circle icon is not enough, you can add these buttons anywhere on your website, on the top header or in the sidebar, and your readers will be able to click and interact with the local search or the map very easily. But this is optional. The next tab is post type settings. And if you have a robust website with many different post types or custom fields, then this should be helpful for you to select a custom publish date or a date that the post should be archived after they're geotagged. Those are all the settings that you need to use to set up the search plugin. And now you can go to any of your posts in WordPress and you should see a location section at the very bottom and you can type in a location here select it, and then publish the post, and that will geotag the post to the location that you've selected. In order for the search plugin to show up, remember you need to uh, enable the plugin in the Bloom settings. And that's it. Your website should now be ready for readers to get content by their current location or to search for places around town. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, I'll leave a link to Bloom's website and my email in the description. Thanks for watching.